coming up on episode 7 of Tiny Gaming News. Local news, PlayStation to launch Xbox Game Pass rival in South Africa. Central African Republic adopts Bitcoin as legal tender. International news, CNN Plus shuts down after a few weeks. Netflix loses 200,000 subscribers. Headline news, it's a done deal ninjas. Elon Musk now owns Twitter. Stay tuned until the end for eSports tournament announcement. What's up ninjas, it's your boy Max Intite aka The Twiny Gamer. Sorry for being so quiet, it just had personal and technical issues to deal with but I've taken my psych meds and fixed my laptop so now I'm back with the vengeance. Today's podcast news are special cause I'll be announcing Twiny Gaming's first esports tournament. Please listen until the end of this podcast for details. Alright, let's do it. Sony said on its website that PlayStation Plus, its version of Xbox's Game Pass, will relaunch in June in South Africa. The latest PlayStation Plus will offer a three-tier price plan, starting from 119 Rand per month for a basic plan which includes two PS4 games and one PS5 game. The deluxe plan will cost 209 Rand per month and will include hundreds of downloadable games and the classics catalog. In comparison, Xbox Game Pass charges 79 Rand per month for its basic plan which includes 100 plus downloadable games on both PC and Xbox, while the ultimate plan charges 100 and 19 rand per month for the same benefits and a few extra perks. Central African Republic recently passed the bill a few weeks ago allowing Bitcoin to become its official currency. This makes it the first country in Africa and only the second in the world after El Salvador and Latin America to do so. Despite rich reserves of gold and diamonds, Central African Republic is one of the world's poorest and least developed countries. Hence why its presidential spokesperson said, quote, the president supports this bill because it will improve the lives of Central African Republic citizens, end quote. This bill was apparent passed without approval or knowledge of the Bank of Central African States. Switching over to international news, CNN announced last week that it would shut down its CNN Plus streaming news servers on April 30th. Just three weeks after its initial launch, CNN Plus launched on 29 March 2022 but got off to a slow start, attracting only 10k views per day. A spokesperson was quoted saying, CNN will now focus its resources on further improving its website, CNN Digital. Netflix's recently released first quarter earnings for 2022 reported a shocking loss of 200,000 subscribers which equals to nearly 40% of its market value, a decline of over $60 billion and its first time losing subscribers in a decade. Reasons for this shocking decline range from the war in Ukraine to stiff competition from other streaming services. Netflix CFO Spence Newman reassured investors that despite its projections for a 2 million subscriber drop next quarter, they should expect subscription growth to resume in the later half of the year. This sound clip from 12 News Now explains more. Developing right now, the sharp drop in subscribers has sent Netflix stock into a freefall. And tonight, there's word the company may consider experimenting with ads while also cracking down on the millions of freeloaders who use passwords from friends or family members. Netflix subscribers fell off 200,000 customers in the first quarter. The company says it expects to lose another 2 million subscribers this quarter. Netflix says some of the factors include increased competition, inflation, and yes, the password sharing. The company says as many as 100 million households worldwide use a shared password. And as for the ads, here's how that might work. Allowing consumers who would like to have a lower price and are advertising tolerant um, get what they want makes a lot of sense. So that's something we're looking at now. Netflix says it's considering charging households who share accounts. Headline news, Elon Musk struck a deal a few days ago with the board of Twitter to buy the social media website for $44 billion, nearly 700 billion rand after shareholders initially rejected the offer. The Pretoria-born billionaire promises a variety of positive changes to the microblogging site, including an edit button, longer posts, deleting fake accounts, and free speech. This sound clip from MSNBC News has further details. 
Elon Musk has bought Twitter for approximately $44 billion. He's going to be paying each share of Twitter $54.20. Um, in a statement released by the company, Mr. Musk said, free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy, and Twitter is the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. I also want to make Twitter better than ever by enhancing the product with new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, defeating these spam bots, and authenticating all humans. Twitter has tremendous potential. I look forward to working with the company and the community of users to unlock it. No word on whether or not he would take it to a subscription-based model. We have reached the end of the podcast, but before I sign out, please allow me to proudly announce 20 Gaming's first live esports tournament, La Duma, La Duma Stars, which will be a FIFA tournament hosted at Hard Rock Cafe Pretoria at Million Mall on Father's Day, June 19th. Yep, you heard right. The iconic Hard Rock Cafe, the international restaurant and live music franchise has agreed to host 20 Gaming's first ever esports tournament on Father's Day. If you'd like to attend as a spectator or gamer respectively, please click on the links provided to buy a ticket from our secure website. We're giving away a boost load of free shit to all ticket holders and also expecting an international award-winning DJ to be spinning on the ones and twos. Ninjas, listen to me. It's going to be lit. And that concludes this podcast episode. Until episode 8 coming out mid-May, it's never game over.